Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today in this video, I want to show you how we update the Wi-Fi settings on a Goodwee solar inverter like this one here. If you have a look at the orange light here, the orange light shows the internet connection of the inverter and at the moment this one's flashing yellow. When it's flashing yellow like this, it's not actually connected to the internet. What we want to see is a solid orange light. That means it's connected to the internet and it's connected to Goodwee's servers for the online monitoring portal. So to get your inverter connected up to the internet for online monitoring, we need a couple of things. One, we need a good internet connection via Wi-Fi at the inverter location. If your modem's a long way from the inverter, you might not have a good internet connection at the inverter, so you may need a Wi-Fi extender to do that, to extend the uh, Wi-Fi signal. And we'll also need a smart device like a smartphone or a tablet running the SEMS portal app. That's spelled S-E-M-S -E portal. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so you can see we've gone through all those steps and now our inverter has got a solid orange light along with the solid green light. That solid orange light means that the inverter is connected to the internet for the online monitoring and so within a few minutes we should be able to connect our SEMS portal app to the internet and we should be able to see the data online about what the inverter is producing. So if you've gone through all those steps and your inverter is still not coming up with a solid orange light, there's a few things that I recommend you try. First off, try rebooting the inverter. Now to do that, we've shut down the AC from the system. You might have an inverter AC isolator like this one, or it might be an inverter supply main switch in your switchboard. You shut that off, then you turn off the PV ray DC isolator. Usually these days, they're built, it's built into the bottom of the inverter, the switch which just turned 90 degrees. Within 30 seconds or so, the inverter will shut down completely and give it 30 seconds after the uh, screen's gone completely blank, then start it back up. The order to start it back up doesn't matter, just as long as you turn everything back on that you turned off. And then after a few minutes, see if that reset of the inverter makes the inverter come back online with the orange light on solid. Another thing that you could check if that doesn't work is check that you do have good internet reception at the inverter uh, through that Wi-Fi network that you set up. So uh, you, I would recommend checking with your phone or your tablet at the inverter location that you can actually connect to the network which connects to the internet uh, at that location all right, that you've got good reception there because the inverter does need good reception. Like I said before, if you're not getting good reception, you might need to put a Wi-Fi extender in between your modem location and the inverter location. Another thing to check, if that still doesn't fix it, is that the uh, network channel on your modem is lower than 13. If it's higher than 13, 
the inverter won't like that so that's something to keep in mind and you can you can change that on the modem and one last thing which the inverters don't like as well which may be an issue in your case is a thing called band steering might be turned on on the inverter these inverters will only connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network they will not connect to a 5 gigahertz wi-fi network and these days a lot of the newer modems have a thing called band steering turned on and with band steering what it does is it combines the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks into one one network and if that is turned on the inverters won't connect to the network so you can go into the settings on your modem to actually turn band steering off uh, i do have another short video on how to do that on a telstra modem that might be helpful for you uh, and if you if you tried all those things that sh should get it sorted out if it doesn't it might be worth giving good we a call directly but look i hope those things should help you with the troubleshooting of your wi-fi network connection on the good we inverter and thanks for watching this video